Hello everyone, welcome to... Wait, what? No, wait, that's my stream beginning. God, it's been so long since I last recorded anything. Um, welcome back to Let's Play Trails, The Third Blind. Um, <laughs> aren't you surprised to see this video, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this save is from June 2020. So, it is now... August 2021 so it's been over a year which is great <laughs> uh, yeah yeah sorry making you wait so long life has been different different because there was COVID now there's COVID again actually New Zealand um but like oh, I don't know you know just things happened you know I got a boyfriend and you know how it is um and i started streaming or well, focusing on streaming and then like i so have been teaching because i'm a teacher and then i've also been proofreading and i've just been very lazy and excuses 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 blah 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 anyway here we are um oh i hope this is gonna work fine i'm playing this on different resolution <laughs> um because i now Things have changed, right? And I'm now playing this on, like, I now hook up my computer to the TV, which is 4K. So I'm playing this in 4K, but the recording will still be, actually the recording, I think I'll do 1080p. Um, but I'm hoping that it does, sorry, I just, uh, I just alt tab to check if things are okay. Um, I don't usually play this on full screen either, so. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Hopefully things are good, but, um, I really hope things are good with this, but I don't know if it will be, so I guess we'll find out. Anyway, I guess we're at this door for a reason, so I guess we'll go inside this door. The path is door has already been opened. Open the door and step inside. Okay, also I am half deaf right now, because for some reason I woke up with one of my ears, like, just, I can't hear out of one of my ears. Which is awesome! I love being deaf, it's great, it's the best, so... It's really obnoxious, actually. <sighs> I think, so I assume this is, um... This because I, I know that I stopped the game before doing what I thought was going to be something exciting, which I assume will be exciting. It was um, to do with Joshua, I think. So, I don't know if we've already been in this door. This screen looks familiar. I guess we'll find out. An investigative report on Phantom Thief B. His crimes, his history, and his true identity. Haven't we done this? I'm pretty sure we've done this before. Imperial Chronicle investigative team. Yes, 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 because it like rhymed. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 because this is about how do we how do we get out of here? <laughs> do we can we get out of here? No, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did this one already because it's um It's all about Phantom Thief B, so I'm just gonna um click past this one. Yeah, because it's all about trying to figure out who he is. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. I have to say, it's pretty nice playing this in full screen, because I used to play it in 720p, so... Did <laughs> uh. you know I started this game in like 2018? Fuck, it's been a long time. Although, to be fair, it's a long game. Okay, I don't... Can we just go... Oh. I wish I could hear out of my ear, it would be nice. Oh. <sighs> so what's new with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's new with you guys? Okay, can we, can we just, can we, can we, can we just, can we, can we, um, what is that I was singing? Oh, whoops, I don't want to be in here. Uh, how do I go places? Here we go, look, I remember things. Where are we right now, though? That's the real question. Let's see, moon doors. Is there a way to know which ones I've already done? Uh, 
Uh, I guess because it says the door's already been open, right? Where's the one that's, um... I think it's a moon door. Hey, it doesn't... Oh, right, because we're on the sixth plane. Oh, we must be near the end of the game. Because when you look at the moon doors, there's only space for one more moon door. Oh, that's interesting. Uh... Oh, no, wait. Well, well, yeah, no, well, I don't know. Because, I mean, aren't, aren't moon doors the long story ones? I thought here there was... I thought there was... Maybe it was just in the story. I don't know why we're outside this particular door. Are we here already? That's the real question. I guess we'll find out if it puts us back here or not. Oh no, it puts us here. Da 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 da. I should have probably watched the last video to know what I'm doing. Let me check that real quick, because uh, I think that will help things. I'm done. Uh, I totally forgot about <laughs> um, this whole book thing telling me things. Yeah, I totally, I totally forgot about this. So how do I? Oh, I see. Yeah, this tells me what I've already been in. Doom, so dumb. Right, OK, so we haven't done Star Door 9. What's Star Door 9? Uh, meter comes, meter goes, sometimes it may be lost, but at times that loss can be regained manifold. Off for 50,000 meter. Whoa, look at the... Why is the bottom of this being so weird? Still is unknown. Weird. Um, oh, the whole... Th everything's all messed up. I don't know why. It's weird. Um... Okay, so that one hasn't been done... The sun doors are the game ones, aren't they? Grand Arena. Open the door, step inside, proof your right to challenge your deals inside in hand. I don't know if I have that or not. And then the moon door. Happiness comes in many forms, can be interpreted in many ways. Present to me a form of happiness you've obtained. Ah, oh, okay. So... Oh, here we go, here we go. It seems we'll need Joshua to access the final area. To the final monument we go. On the Noch of our monument was a message from the Schwarzritter. Why do I have the feel? I, I have the feeling that we were like going to go to Ham. Is it Hamel or something? But I don't know. Maybe it's the. Maybe it was in the story. I thought it was in the. I thought it was a door. And maybe it wasn't a door. I don't really know. Let's, let's see if we can um, it, access this. I don't think we can, but let's see if we can. Wait, is it this one? Let's see if we can access it. Happiness comes in many forms. It can be interpreted in many ways. Present to me a form of happiness you have obtained. Only then shall the door open. Oh, I can do it? Oh, okay, here we go. All right, let's do a thing. Really? I'm surprised. Okay. All right, here we go. Moon door time. Hold on, I need to check I'm recording because it's been a while. And I just need to make sure things are all fine. That seems to be recording. That's good. And that's recording. Right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, it's so exciting to be recording again. Isn't it nice? I need to get back into a routine of doing this. Ah. <sighs> Especially now that we're in lockdown and I have nothing else to do. Well, I have to teach and proofread, but there's no zoo at the moment, so... <sighs> I'm so sorry, it took me so long. Anyway, <clears throat> I shall grant it. I don't know if anybody's even around to watch this anymore. <laughs> People have probably gotten married and had kids and... Who knows what else in the time it's taken for me to come back to this game. But I needed the break, though. 
Um, when I was recording it last, I wasn't really feeling it, and uh, but at the same time, like I could, I felt like something exciting was going to happen, but I wanted to like go through that when I really hey, there's an hourglass at the bottom and to the side. When I like really was in the mood for it, because this game deserves my full not attention, but like you know. Because you know what it's like when I try to play a game that I'm not enjoying and or I'm not in the mood for and it's uh my reactions are not good. I, that that that's when I complain about absolutely everything. So Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> I shall grant you a memory fragment and my blessing. Let's see if I remember anybody's voices. That'll be the real that'll be the real um excitement here. Yeah. It was almost time for Matron Teresa's to 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 Teresa's birthday. Matron Teresa, the children were keenly aware of this fact too. One by one, they finished their chores early and gathered and gathered to decide what to do for it. After after uh, after all, the matron always did for them. They wanted to make it an occasion to remember, but they still hadn't decided what to get her as a present. There had to be something out there that was perfect for her, something that would make her really happy. But what? Can I not be deaf in one ear, please? It's so obnoxious. I'm like playing this in such a high resolution on my TV. I feel like I'm going to have recording issues, but we'll see. I'll record one video and then I'm going to edit it and um, see see how, how it went. Um, my, my whole setup is different. Actually, like I'm not only because I'm using the TV, but I also moved all my furniture around and now the sound is a little different, like the echoing and stuff. Maybe, I don't know. Feels like it's different. So we'll see. We'll see. Can you finish watering the plants then, Daniel? You can take care of the flower beds, Polly. As for me, I'll go help with the cooking. Mary looks like Aries if she had uh, green hair. Then we're going to decide on what to get the matron as a present. Yep. Let's hop to it. Okay. Right. Right. I think that's the voice I gave him last time. Now this just leaves Clem. Where is he? He should be back by now. This isn't the first time he's taken forever coming back home either. <sighs> I wish he'd grow up. Let me help you with the cooking, matron. Oh, that's quite all right, Mary. I'll be fine. It's good for you to rest up once in a while. I'm always burdening you by having you help me and take care of the children. Th that's not true. It's not a burden at all. I'm happy to help. Besides, I'm the oldest one here. It's only right that I help out wherever I can. I can't sit around doing nothing when Chloe's so busy and Grand Cell either. Hmm. Well, if you don't need help with the cooking, I'll go and clean our room. Clem would have messed it up again this morning, so it could probably stand to be tidied up some. Oh, wait. <coughs> hmm? What was that? I hope Daniel didn't try and water the chickens instead of the plants. I'll go and take a look just in case. Phew, so much to do, so much to do. <sighs> I appreciate that she's always doing so much to try to help out but I can't help but feel that she's overworking herself a little lately. I forgot how quaint this game was. Oh, you're back, Clem. Well, did you manage to buy the decorations we need for Matron's birthday? No, you... No, no, you didn't. Don't tell me you didn't buy anything. Well, I was gonna, but I ended up hearing this real interesting story instead. Dun, dun, da, dun, da, da, da. Several hours later. City of Ruan. <sighs> this game is like nostalgic to me now. <laughs> uh, that's how long it's been. 
A happiness stone? Indeed, it's a magical stone with a golden glow said to bring happiness to those who possess it. I'm sure you're aware of how the goddess created this continent in ancient times. When that happened, her power showered down upon the land as an infinite number of particles, their light radiant and divine. I have no idea what this guy's voice is. Most of those lights were fleeting, but not all of them. Some of those particles of light remained, hidden by mist and tall mountains. Over time, they grew in size, bit by bit. And that is the origin of the happiness stones. Th that's so cool! <laughs> Isn't it? Still, as you can imagine, it's exceptionally rare that anyone finds one. After all, they only develop in the deepest regions of the tallest mountains. That's not somewhere people go every day. But, but you say you did? You, you did? When you went on the expedition to the far north, right? You got it. It was on the sacred mountain of Tegis, a perilous place full of snow and ice. Even the slightest loss of footing would have sent me cascading into the ravines below, and the never-ceasing blizzards assaulted me from morn to night. Does the little kid understand these words? Before I knew it, even my food supply had run out, and I was left wandering that white desert alone, not knowing how much longer I had left. At times I had to fend off the assault of vicious monsters, while at other times I found myself almost plunged upside down the cliff sides. Pl Wait, did that make sense? But while the experience may have been enough to take out most ordinary men, it wasn't enough to take me down. I clung desperately to the razor-sharp ice walls, making my way gradually farther into the mountain, Never once letting my resolve waver. Man, you're so cool! No matter what happens, don't give up. That's my policy, and it should be yours too. Be like the mighty Captain O'Neill. Invincible! Regardless. Uh, regardless. After overcoming countless trials and obstacles before me, I finally found that faintly glowing stone. My hand shook, but I reached out and picked it up. And the second I did, the raging wind stopped, as if they'd never been blowing at all. Then the morning sun began to shine down through the clouds above. That light hit the stone and it began to glow with a glistening, radiant beauty. It was like something out of this world. I've never heard of that before. It sounds so dreamy. See, I told you it was amazing. It must be pretty and so cool. I wish I could find a pretty magical stone like that. <laughs> Mr. O'Neill tells the best stories, doesn't he? Yeah, that was a great story. Okay, move your butt, Daniel. We're going to go find a happiness stone. What? Well, wait a second, Clem. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think? The only tall mountains around here are the Crone Mountains. Chloe said they were the tallest point in Liberal, too. If we're going to find ourselves a happiness stone anywhere, it's got to be there. And we're going to find one. We are. I'm going to be an invincible guy, just like Mr. O'Neill was. Uh, Clem, I understand why you're so desperate to find one. Really, I do. But Mr. O'Neill's stories are, well... You just wait here with Polly, with Polly, Mary. We'll be back before you know it. Let's get moving, Daniel. Wait, Clem. Wait for me. I want to be an invisible guy, too. Just make sure the matron doesn't find out about what we're planning for at present, Mary. It's, it's got to be a surprise. I know that. But listen to me, Clem. Mr. Neil's stories are... Listen to me. Eh. <sighs> Well, he's gonna die, I guess. Oh well. <laughs> he's so stupid. Both for not realizing Mr. O'Neill's stories are all made up, and for not listening to me trying to tell him. Working some of the testaments until one doesn't make the rest of what he's saying credible. It doesn't matter how long he spends trying to find a happiness stone, he's not going to. Still, I wish they really did exist. They sound so lovely. <laughs> Mary? Mary? That's to Mary. Oh! Oh, sorry. D don't make me jump like that. You really scared me. They went away now, but we still don't know what to do for the matron's present. What are we going to do? I'm surprised that story didn't have any effect on you. 
It might not be real, but I thought it was pretty touching. Touchy? Um... She'll never be quite all there, will she? Aw. This is why I need to look out for everyone. Let's just let Clem and Daniel do what they want. Clem's not going to listen to us even if we do uh, go after him anyway. Which means we're going to have to think of a prison ourselves. If only I knew what would be good enough. Shall we go and have a look along the shore? There might be some pretty shells there. If we collect enough of them, we might even be able to make a necklace for her. That sounds like it might make a good present, right? Okay, let's get going. Okay. Oh my god, I'm actually her. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I forgot how fast you move in this game. This is interesting. Oops. Oh, okay. That's the map button. Chance? <laughs> Let's go talk to the matron. Hello, girls. Is there some is something the matter? Nothing. Not at all. There's a bazaar being held over in Minoria today, you know. I'm planning to head over there and help out later on. That is fascinating. Da 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 da. I guess there wouldn't be any treasure in these doors, right? Because it's not like we are these people, so we wouldn't. They wouldn't carry over anything. Or anything. But still, it's nice to explore. Exploring is nice. Da 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 da. Actually, I might. Can I save here? I might just stop for a second. I just want to double check everything is good. Because moon doors are so long, and I don't want to like do the whole moon door and then be like, oh, the recording fucked up. That's cool. Now I get to do it again. So I'm gonna go check that. Um, and then I'll continue in the same video assuming it hasn't been very long i don't know how long it's been okay it worked yay so happy all right let's uh let's go do things oh look i can even see this says ruan on it now wait so we're oh my god the like The dead zone on this controller is so tiny. Holy crap. Anyway, um, doesn't really matter. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, that means I can walk really easily. Um, we're going to the Crone Mountains. I don't know where those are anymore, to be honest with you. It's been a long time. I think it's... Well, see, I don't know, like, like, do I want to explore or do I just want to go straight there? Oh, no, wait, wait, we want to go to the seaside, right? Okay, I guess that's what we'll do then. I, I do realize... Actually, oh, I didn't check in the video if it was a bit glitchy. Because you see how it's like, uh, 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 but it might be okay in the, in the thing. Oh, well, whatever. Oops, I think we've gone past the beach. This is the path that leads to Minoria. Oh, okay. To the beach we go then. It's so blurry too. The motion blur is horrendous. Mary looked in the sand for seashells. This one feels kind of nice in the hand, but I'm not very fond of the of, of, of the color of the color. <laughs> I prefer one little lighter. Okay, not good enough for you. I see. I see. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, oh, you can see the clouds in the water. That's actually the reflection of my cushion on the TV. But, okay. Man, the waves look really good. That, that Those are some good waves. Except when they hit this, doesn't make any sense. But, that's, that's some pretty good waves. Ah, water and games are so good. Mary looked in the sand for seashells. No, oh, I can't see any pretty ones around here. I tried to have a shower to, like try to 
um, block my ear and it kind of like worked but very like ever so slightly and only like temporarily that sucks it sucks is that the only beach oh what's this what about these mary wouldn't these make a good present hmm well they're certainly pretty but we've got plenty of flowers growing in our garden as it is i like to get the mention something a little more special and unusual oh Da, 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 da. Wait, this is the path that leads to Ruan. We shouldn't be going this way. Hmm. All right, let's go back, I guess. Da, 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 na, 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 na. Mary looks in the sand for seashells. Ooh, a pretty pink one. That's cracked. What a shame. It feels like I'm skating. <laughs> oh, tiny the dead zone is. Mary looks in the sand for seashells. Ah, uh, nope. Nothing but garbage here. What kind of a terrible person would throw you a cigarette on the beach? And it's going to be so awful sometimes. The, I, that, uh, well, I agree with that. I hate that. I mean, like, it's bad enough that people smoke. Like, in public. You know, like, around other people. But, or even in general. But, like... Tossing your cigarette butts on the ground? Like, fuck. That really pisses me off. I also hate it when people spit as well. Ugh, can't people just keep their bodily fluids to themselves? I can't see any nice looking ones around here. How nice it'd be to bump into a happiness stone. Oh, there's a treasure chest right there. <laughs> Can you get the chest, please? Do you see the chest? Oh, seemed like a good idea on paper, but I can't do much with it without any nice shells to use. Maybe there are treasure chests. Hmm. I wish those happiness stones actually did exist. One of those would be the perfect present for the matron. What you thinking about, Mary? That stone? Oh, yeah. Polly, do you think it's possible the happiness stones might be real? Huh? Do you want one so you can be happy? Well, that wasn't really what I meant. Just, don't you think it would be romantic if something like that really existed? Happiness is all around us. Oh, hello. What's that? What? I don't know, it's really shiny though. Mary picked up a gold chain. Oh, so that's what it was. Well, it certainly counts as romantic, but I'm not sure a chain alone is going to make much of a present. We'll need a little more than that. You can have it if you want. You were the one who found it. it. Might not be fitting for a present, but it's still pretty. Take good care of it, okay? Okay! Oh! Lucia! Oh, Lucia? Ah, oh, Polly, Mary! Hey, kids, having fun playing on the beach? Yeah, yes, that's right. I mean, yeah, yes, that's right. We were trying to find some nice shells, actually. Shells, huh? Well, I'll take care, alright? I'm not gonna tell you not to play here, but you just keep your eyes peeled for monsters. We will. Fortunately, keeping your eyes peeled is such a disgusting idiom. <laughs> Fortunately, there don't seem to be any here today. You going somewhere, Lucia? Well, I was. You know about the bazaar starting today in Minoria, right? We went to put up some posters for it in, in Ruan. You just reminded me of it, in fact. I wanna go! You should totally go then. It'll be really fun, trust me. Okay, let's get a move on. Hey, don't tug on my arm like that. <laughs> That guy seems familiar, isn't he a bracer? <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> Wasn't he one of those bracers who helped us before? I can't remember his name though. It was Kana, Annalise, uh, Kurt, then him. Yeah, I don't remember his name either. <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I 
forgot this guy made good humor. Mary? Mary! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sorry, Polly. What is it? I want to go to the bazaar. The bazaar? All right. Sorry. Well, we might find something that works as a present there if we do. Okay. Let's go see if we can find something. Let's go see if we find something. Yay! But wait a second. It's not safe to go running off on your own, Polly. Let's go together, okay? Okay. No oh, wait, I want to check that chest. I want to check the chest. I want to check the chest. Let me go back. Let me go back. Oh, isn't this... It's a treasure chest. Do you want to see what's inside? Okay. Three, two, one. Much to Mary and Polly's dismay, this chest is empty as can be. No! <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. There we go. Wait, Minoria... Is this way? Manoria, we are here in Manoria. Hello. Today is the start of the bazaar here in Manoria. I feel like I should donate something to sell there too, but I don't know what. It wouldn't feel right just donating leftovers from the shop. I want something a bit more special than that. Oh, everything looks so good. Oh, I forgot this game was so good. Oh. There's a bazaar starting here in town today. I'm planning to head over there to help out this afternoon. Did I already talk about the flowers? Like in my real life? Hmm. Because New Zealand's in lockdown at the moment. Again. Um, because we got the Delta variant of COVID. It's great. Um, and so like... Only essential businesses are open, like post off some post offices. Um, I don't know if banks are open, uh, but like supermarkets and stuff are open. Um, but florists are not, and there's a florist near me that's uh, giving away flowers for free. And I feel like I'm in Final Fantasy VII. I didn't go get one though. I could. I could, but I didn't. So yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should sell a few potted plants there too. I wish the morning would end already. I just can't seem to relax and focus on my work today. With most plants would be pretty cool, I think. Uh, can I help you? Oh, I remember your name now. It's Black. No, that's not his name. <sighs> it's Grant. Do me a favor and try remembering it next time. Jean sure knows how, or Jean, sure knows how to work people to the bone. Do I really look like the kind of person who's suited to help out at a bazaar? Really? This was supposed to be Kana's job. I hope she doesn't think I'm going to forget this. Oh, now I want to play the first game again. Mm. I'm supposed to be affiliated with the Bosse branch, but I haven't been back there in a month. Ah, I seem to be spending all my time in Ruan lately. Excuse me, I'm trying to talk to the child. Ah! Oh, you came after all. Well, it sounds like fun. Oh, it is. You'll have loads of fun. I guarantee it. Is that spelled right? Doesn't guarantee have two R's? Guarantee. Well, maybe it doesn't. Huh. Where, where in town is it being held, Lucia? It's in the cabin attached to the windmill. Go and buy tons of stuff, okay? I can't reach high enough on my own, so I had to get Mr. Bracer here to help put the posters up. I can't remember his name, though. <laughs> Why can't anybody remember his name? Wait, a bit more to the right. Hmm? What, like here? No, that's too far to the right. Uh. That's too far to the left now. I can't win here, can I? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, a dialogue in this game. Ba -na -na, na -na -na. Oh, if it isn't Mary and Polly, welcome. If you're looking for Lucia, she's out helping with the bazaar. 
She loves these kind of things, you see, so she couldn't resist trying to get involved somehow. Lucia's always loved big events like these, and people wonder who she took after. Hello there, you two. Hello, sir. Thanks so much for always playing with our Lucia. You're welcome. Haha, <laughs> always nice to see such cheery faces around here. I take it you've heard about the bazaar in town already? Started today, if you haven't. The town's all in a bustle because of it. A bazaar like this feels right for a rural town like this, huh? I think Lucia's out helping with it too. If you're interested, you should stop by and check it out. Bum, 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 bum. The music's so good in this game. I forgot how good it was. But it is. So good. Music so good in this game. I totally forgot that it was this good. Bum, 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 bum. Na, 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 na. Well, well, if it isn't Matron Teresa's children. Ho ho, surprise how lively it is in town, Santa said you. Well, there's a bazaar being held in the windmill cabin now. If you're interested, I suggest you run along and see what's on offer. I'm sure you'd love it. The cabin the bazaar is taking place in is on the plateau at the edge of town. If you're interested, I suggest you run along and see what's on offer. I'm sure you'd love it. Oh, fine, but one second. I'm going to go into all the other houses first. There's nothing in here. Oh, I forgot I could move the camera. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I don't know, it feels weird for some reason. Oh, I can... Oh, what's happening? Oh, I broke the game. That leads to the lighthouse. Okay. I'm surprised we can go up there. Strange. These controls are so. Whoa. I really need to fix the dead zone on my controller. <laughs> I'll do it later. Wow, this is so cool! Yeah, there's so much available here. I wonder if there's anything that would make a good present for the matron. There has to be with all that's here. Hmm? Oh, you guys didn't die. That's surprising. What? Okay, bye. What? What just happened? Oh, she's busy talking to people, I guess. But besides, she seems like the kind of place you might accidentally stumble upon magical items like the Happiness Stone. But I wouldn't even know where to start. Nothing I see looks like it anyway. There's something in particular you're looking for that I can help with? Uh, um, m maybe it won't hurt to ask. Sir, do you happen to know where I can find a Happiness Stone? A what? It's a stone that makes people happy just for owning it. I... Uh, <laughs> I already couldn't tell you. Sorry, sweetie. That, that, that's alright. Sorry for the trouble. Hmm. You know, I do remember hearing a funny story about the Crone Mountains one time that might be worth hearing. I've got no idea if it's true or a bunch of hooey, but would you like to hear it? Yes, please! It's an old story I heard from my dad a while back. Something about them glowing gold all of a sudden once a year. Around this time of year, as it so happens. Apparently, if a traveler happens to be walking along them at exactly that time, they undergo what I can only describe as a strange experience, and then they become happy. Nice, isn't it? That's a great story. Dun, dun, dun. Phew. But what should we do, Polly? It actually sounds like it might be true after all. Maybe there really is something up in the mountains. Uh, Mary? The golden glow, tall mountains, it all fits. Maybe there really is a happiness stone to be found there. She's not listening. 
I, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to go and take a quick peek up there, would it? Say, Polly. You know Clem and Daniel came to the bazaar earlier, Mary? What? They came to do some shopping and said they are going into the Crow Mountains. And they said they are all ready, too. Seriously? I didn't even notice. Well, you are spacing out a lot lately. I can't believe they're thinking of heading into the mountains. Mention Teresa is always telling us not to go any farther from the orphanage than Minoria. But you want to go into the mountains too. That's, uh, I'm planning on doing it to get her a birthday present. That's very different. It'll only be for a minute or two. Besides, we've got to go and bring those two home now. That's important enough on its own. Then we can just search for the present while we're there. <sighs> we can't tell the matron about this, right? Absolutely not. She can't know about the birthday present, right? Let's go. Stick close to me, Polly. Welcome. Go ahead and let me know if anything catches your eye. Wait, aren't you the kids from the orphanage? Eh, no biggie. Office still stands. Let me know if you see anything you want. I'll knock a bit off the price too, just for you kids. Everything here costs... 20 meter. I'll go as low as 10 meter for you girls, though. Oh, cool. Let's buy something. No? <laughs> oh, hey, I come to ask more about that story. If you have, I can't help you, though. Sorry. I've told you all I know. All I know is some old legend I picked up from my old man. I come here every year, and I always find myself thinking what a lovely place it is. I hope I can live in a village as peaceful as this when I reach old age. This is a wonderful little village, isn't it? It's an excellent fishing spot, too. I'm really surprised they let me go in this direction. Let's go to the lighthouse for no reason, I guess. Actually, maybe this is the way to the mountains. Oh, it is the way to the mountains. I'm really surprised it lets me come here. I can go inside the lighthouse? This is very strange. <laughs> I'm so surprised by that. This game is so nostalgic. I swear, kids these days. Look, what might you two be doing here? Hello. Actually, they are pretty high up, aren't they? So you haven't seen a happiness stone in before, have you? A uh, happiness stone? They're really shiny and pretty. No, no, I don't recall ever seeing any such thing in all my years. Oh, that's too bad. Well, thank you anyway. Let's keep looking, Polly. I hope your back feels better, mister. I swear, because he's dead. Sharp little, they're sharp little devils, aren't they? Happiness stone, hmm? Well, that was weird. Happiness stone, you say? You think something like that exists? Oh, I'm glad I came up here. Always pays to explore. Always pays to explore. Oops. Oh, I see. Danger, unauthorized personnel prohibited. Okay.
where we were going. Ah, I've missed recording. It's so different to streaming. Say, Polly, what do you think? Something, something, something. Do you think Mr. Neil's right about them glowing? Ah, that'd be so wonderful. Huh? Because, like, when I'm streaming, I have to, you know, be conscious of whether or not I'm streaming properly and stuff. I'm not saying that I believe him now, blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying if he says, if all he said is true, to make a perfect present for a holy shit, the tanks are so fast. <gasps> I have to read it when I'm editing. Um, because, you, you know, because like when you're streaming, you have to check the chat and stuff. I mean, obviously there's positives to that too, because then I'm like instant getting, you know, I'm able to communicate with people better, but, um, there's something nice about recording as well. As well. <laughs> Wait, Polly? But then also I have to edit when I record, so there's, it takes longer and more effort and, yeah, it depends how you look at it. So don't tell me she's lost. Yep, she died. Polly! Polly, where are you? Dun, 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 dun. Now I'm lost. Polly! Polly! No. I told her to stay close to me, too. Is this a pantomime? Where could she have gone? Ah, she's hopeless. Behind you. Oh, and here maybe. Cool, we lost her. That's great. Polly, come on out. Polly. I can't find her anywhere. This is all my fault for being so careless. I shouldn't have taken my eyes off her. I never do this either. So why did I do it this time? But wait a second. Is this the right way? No, I'm totally lost now. So, which way did I come from again? <laughs> Polly! Answer me, Polly! Ah, <sighs> where, oh, where have you gone? Huh? Where am I? I've never been this far from the orphanage before. It looks like Polly's not the only one who's lost. What am I doing? I need to be strong and look after the other children. I've got to find Polly. This is all my fault. It's all my fault. I never should have believed in that silly story. I should never have taken Polly so far from the orphanage. How could I have messed up so badly? <sighs> That's an enemy, goodness. Phew. I gotta find Polly. A monster like that finds her before I do. I don't even want to think about it. Please be safe, Polly. Polly! Polly! Where are you, Polly? Answer me, please. <sighs> Polly, please. Just come out. I know I messed up, so please just come out. <laughs> I mustn't cry. I mustn't cry. 
<laughs> Aww. Oh, cool. Now it's foggy. Or not. Okay. Ooh, it's mad chilly this time of year, huh? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Ah. Oh. Oh, maybe I should go catch some more zoos. Uh, who are you? Huh? What? <laughs> That's so cute. Well, what's the big deal? Don't scare a dragon like that. Thought my heart was gonna go pumping right out of my chest. Huh? Was that something on my face, little buddy? <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> hey, it's way not cool to laugh that much. <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing here anyway? Who, me? I was just keeping my head low while all that scary stuff was going down. Scary stuff? Like what? Like the glorious and the Aureola and junk. Didn't you hear about them? I don't think so. <laughs> this thing is so cute. Huh. Okay. Are you a baby dragon? Yeppers! I'm only 320 years old. What? Really? Why are you so surprised? That's totally normal. Why am I giving... <laughs> I'm so confused about the voices. It is? I'm not so sure about that. Anyway, I'm bored. Oh, I want some grub. Do you know if there are any dandelions that bloom around here? Is that what you eat? Sunflowers are yamalicious too. They taste just like the sun, no lie. I didn't know that. Have you tasted the sun? Oh, I know. Ta-da! You can have one of my super special sandwiches. They haven't got any dandelion, dandelions or flowers in them, but they've got some plants from our garden in them. So I'm sure they'll have a sunny taste to them. Okay, open wide now. So, what do you think? That was so good! I made it all myself, too. <laughs> Aren't I amazing? Wow, you're crazy amazing. Can I have another one? Another one? But I've only got one left, and that one's supposed to be mine. Give me half them. Pretty please? Well, I suppose I could. Okay, you win. No, oh, it's so cute. I need to close the curtain. Sure, getting chilly now. That was so cute, them playing together. Y you think? Do you have trouble dealing with the cold? Nuh uh. I do awesome with the cold, I swear. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I'll go gather some firewood, okay? I'll get a lot warmer. It it'll get a lot warmer if we start a fire. Just wait here, okay? Oh, okay. Can you be fast, though, please? Please hurry up. <laughs> hurry up, please. I feel like I'm suddenly playing, um, Breath of Fire 3. Mm. Oh, I didn't think I'd find any here. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think I'd find any here. Okay, let's go this way. Mm. Here's some. Mary picked up some firewood. Mm 
Huh? I thought you were gonna wait for me. But, but it's getting dark now. Being out in the dark is kind of scary. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> there, there. Feel any better now? <laughs> Stop there, you're tickling me. And you're so soft and you smell so nice. Huh? This smells like... I can't remember. The smell is just somehow familiar. I'll help you look for firewood too. That way we'll both be warmer. That sounds great. Oh, this is amazing. Is this why people like the third game more than the other ones? Got some. Mary picked up some firewood from the flowers. I guess. Here, son. How much firewood do we need? How big is this fire gonna be? <laughs> Yay, found some. I think this should be enough. Okay, this should do. Wait, we're gonna need some fire to get this started, aren't we? Don't sweat it, I got this. I got this. <laughs> wow, you can really breathe fire? Anyone can do it if they practice enough. No, they can't. Uh-huh, they can. I only learned how to do it recently, too. Oh, really? I wonder if I'll be a I'd be able to do it if I practiced enough. I'm sure you could if you practiced for 320 years like me. I'm not even gonna live that long. <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. Mm. You're so soft. This is me lying on Naru. I'm sure I know the scent from somewhere. But where? This is very... Okay. This is so warm. Is this going to be spirited away now? Achoo! Hmm. Hmm? I want to say it was all a dream, but the dragon knew about things she didn't, like the aureole and stuff. So I don't know. He's gone. Hmm. I guess that's it. I guess I'll go home. What about Polly? <laughs> Who cares about Polly? I just met a dragon. Oh dear. Can we go across this bridge faster? Oh. What? And then she died. Whoa, this is a big hole. Matron. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a happiness stone. It's going to save you. Because that's what stones do. And then you'll become Sailor Moon. Oh, it's the dragon. I guess he was watching you this whole time. Oh, we're in the sky. <gasps> we're the trails in the sky. Oh. You saved me. You can fly? I'm still a kid, so yep, yep. Can you only fly if you're little? Well, no. Well, no. Grown-ups can too. It just causes uh, problems. <laughs> That's not much of an answer. <laughs> Oh, 
Today, today sure was fun. What? Da 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 da. This was a very pleasantly surprising d door. Hey, are you okay? Wake up. Oh, good. She woke up. You okay, Mary? I don't tell you it was a dream. But, 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 but the dragon knew about the aureole, which she didn't. Uh huh? What happened to that weird monster? Monster? Were you attacked? No, but... There wasn't any monsters, just you. That's weird. Was that all a dream, then? Mary! Mary! Are you okay? Y yeah, I'm fine. How can you be fine? I promised Chloe and Joshua that I protect everyone. I promised. If anything happened to you, I... I... Clem? Why are you always got to try and do crazy things alone anyway? We're all going to look for the matron's birthday present together. Don't go off and start doing dangerous stuff all by yourself. I... It's all right, Mary. We were real worried about you. We were all looking for you together. Because you went and disappeared on us. I... I'm sorry. And thanks. Huh? Well, what are you thanking us for? I wasn't worried or nothing. I just figured we could look for you while looking for a present. Uh, you remember how Clem forgot to buy those decorations when he was in Mr. O'Neill's shop, right? That was why we went over to the bazaar to do a bunch of shopping there so we could get what we needed for Matron's birthday. He said if w he said we had to go do it because it'd be a big pain in the butt for you. Shh, don't tell her everything. Anyway, that's when we headed over to the crime trail and... <laughs> Oh, you're hurting me, Clem. <laughs> I feel so happy for some reason. I feel like I just had a dream. A really, really nice dream. M Mary? Are you okay? You aren't feeling sick or something, are you? Are you alright? Feeling dizzy or nauseous? I wonder what... Because she was saying it was so familiar. Hmm. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> I was just spacing out a little. A lot's happened, you see. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, troops. Let's start heading back. What? But, but we still haven't found a prison yet. Maybe not, but you're all downright exhausted from looking around for one. The young lady here looks like she could do with some serious napping, too. Uh, I'm fine, honestly. Nope, not hearing it. I'll escort you all back home, so take it easy and get some rest for today. If any of you were to get sick from overexerting themselves, the mansion would be really upset, wouldn't she? You can always keep searching for a present tomorrow. I'll give you a hand, okay? Wow, really? You're pretty cool for a guy who looks so boring. <laughs> Ouch. Just kick me down while you're at it, why don't you? <laughs> Huh? What's this? Wow, that looks... You don't think that could be... Whoa! It's a happiness star. Yeah, it must be. Clem suddenly chimed that he had an idea as he took an old pendant out of his pocket. He grumbled that it was only something he stumbled upon at the bazaar. With everyone's encouragement, I decided to... Oh. With everyone's encouragement, I decided to try setting the happiness stone in the center in hopes that it would fit. It fit perfectly, too. It was as if they were always meant to be together. Polly's golden chain turned out to be the perfect length as well. Finally, we placed it in the small box that Daniel had kept with him, wrapped it in wrapping paper, and the perfect necklace was born. Oh, that's cute. 
Huh? This is the same smell that monster gave off. Oh, the matron. Is that because I gave her the happiness stone? Or is the matron a dragon? Mary? I understand now. It's the warm smell of happiness. <laughs> what? I'm so confused now. <laughs> Sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, we see the, the happiness stone. And 12,000 meter. Oh. Yay. Alright, well I guess I'll stop this episode here. Thank you for watching. And I'll, uh, see you next time. Well, let's put you in the sky so blind. Bye-bye. <laughs>